and welcome to my channel keeping up with kia p i am your girl kia p aka kia the crafter and we are here for another project yes i'm outside so guess what we about to paint <laughs> okay with no more further ado let me take y'all down to the project that we're gonna be working on today y'all gonna be excited because y'all been wanting it y'all been wanting it but before we do Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and give me some thumbs up, okay? Give me some thumbs up, all right? Make sure you subscribe to the channel, but with no more further ado, here we go. Yeah. Let me get y'all in camera. Okay, y'all see that? We about to work on a resin clutch purse. Y'all been wanting another one, so here we go. This is a... resin clutch purse mold that you don't have to have a mold for so this is a clutch without a mold we're going to spray paint this baby i have my black here because i want to change it i was going to do this color but i changed my mind because another idea came so we're just going to paint right on over it to give us a nice solid black base because it's going to be a black purse not just any black purse but a designer replica yeah i'm making this for my aunt who has been so gracious to take care of my mom in michigan while she had gotten sick um she has some ailments and could not walk for a couple of days so my aunt went and made sure my mom was straight so i figured what better way than to make her something beautiful that she will love so we're gonna start with this so here we have it i'm gonna put something on and make sure it don't fly away and we'll be back when it's dry to show y'all the next step sit tight guys we are back with our two shells here i got four ounces of resin poured it's been sitting for a minute we're gonna go ahead and add the glitter that we want to add to it and what I'm going to add is this onyx black glitter to the, um, and I'm going to add a generous amount to it because I really wanted the glitter to pop. I really want this glitter to pop in here. And just give it a little shimmer. be like a real glittery type of mixture and we're gonna pour it right on top of the shells and let that sit let me get me some paper towels Just go right on top, pouring it right on top of the shell. Want to kind of stay in the middle until it's have a nice covering on it, and then it'll roll off the sides. in the middle I mean in the edges you just I just pour it right over the edge and let it kind of drain down over the edge of it get that 
that move it because it's going to pour down over the mold, over the um, edge just making sure it falls over the edge and then just bring it from the middle all the way out till it's rolling all the way down and over and you can always uh, spatula the rest of it up off of the parchment paper I always lay down parchment paper so that I can use what falls off of it and put it, you know, to fill in certain areas that may need filling or help over these edges. That one is looking real good. I just got to get this one matching it. Y'all, we have that pouring in there. I think it's going to be pretty. Come back and wipe my cup out while I'm waiting for that to just kind of run down and run over. And then clean your cups while they wet. Just makes it easier to get a lot of the glitter and stuff out of them. I'm just still cleaning my cups out. Make sure I'm getting all of this um, glitter out. Alright, so I'm going to take my spatula here. And I'm going to scrape up what's down here and pour it right on top. Making sure I spread it and get it fully covered. On the sides, edges, all of it. It'll run off. Any excess will run off.
I'm just making sure it's filled all the way around. I'm going to have to turn it and make sure I get the <clears throat> sides and edges. Because you want to make sure that they um, are completely covered and they look just like the tops. So you want to make sure you get enough resin on the sides. And let it drain off. Let it drain, but the glitter is what you want to stay. So just come right up on the edge and put more resin. It'll drain off. And I have the um, molds kind of sitting up on some little plastic cups, making sure that they're nice and even. And I just kind of give it where it have room enough to drip, drip off. And I'm just turning it to this other side, making sure this other side is covered as well. Okay, that looks really, really good. Everything's a little covered, glossy. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and hit it with my torch and then just let it sit and dry. I don't, I don't, I've tried to put these ones in the oven, but because the layer is so thin, it just does something weird to the resin. And so I don't really put these in the oven. I just kind of let these sit because again, it just, it did something at once. And I'm just like, oh, we won't be doing that no more. So I just kind of let these sit. And I'm just burning out my little bubbles here. Get it nice and extra smooth. We'll come back, put our design it, put our frame on it. I look like a red, um. In here, I don't want them in there. Did I get it? Yeah, I got the one. That's the other one. Some of the bubbles on top and get them nice and smooth. Making sure we have no voice in it. And we're gonna come back, put our design in it, coat it, 
them together. Looking really, really good. It's coming together. It's nice and smooth, and then we're gonna come back and make it happen. Okay, so stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Come back and check me out. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back with the shells. They came out perfectly and beautifully. They came out gorgeous. I'm trying to get the glue off my hand because I'm going to show y'all move on to the next step. I have one already completed here. So I'm going to show y'all this one in the next step. And as you can see, it has the little drips here. So I'm going to show y'all how I clean that up. And what I do is I use my nippers and I go around the edges and I just trim them little suckers off. They just like little drips from the resin dripping off and I just go around and they come right off and I just nip them off like so getting them flush along the shell being careful not to crack the shell all around the shell taking those off almost done and I did the other one so I just wanted to do this one on camera and then that saved us some time as well so that the video don't be so long I know some of them has been a little lengthy and then you want to get them flush too because you're going to put them inside of the frame and you want them to kind of go in there flush. Uh oh, I went to her a little bit too much. Just a little bit. Okay. So be careful not to tear it too much. I tore one. I know I have to do just a smidge of a touch up there. But other than that, it came out okay. And then what I did was I mod podge the inside because now we're going to lay the um the inside of it so it don't be so hollow. And I ran out of felt and this is all that I had left was this glitter foam type paper or whatever this is. And so I cut it down the size, which was eight by eight inches long by three and a quarters wide to fit in here. And so I'm going to put slits in the corners just so that it'll lay in the corners better. And this one, I'm going to need a little bit more than Mod Podge. So I have my trusty fix all glue here. And I'm Maj Podge, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more Maj Podge in here because I glued the first one down. And I realized that I kind of 
needed a little needed it to be a little bit more tacky and glue a little bit more glue in there because the felt is thinner than this paper than this foam and so i want to make sure that this foam paper glitter don't come up even though it's pretty it's going to give it a nice pretty inside and then we're going to come back and then i'm going to spread I'm going to spread my fix all in here too because again I needed to make sure that it's going to lay down in here and it needs something that's going to be a little bit more tacky, a little bit more durable and that I know will um, last a little bit longer. And I'm just trying to make sure I get it along this rim along the edges at least a little drizzle there so that when I um, put the um, the glitter up to that part it'll have something to adhere to that'll keep it tacked down okay so that's that for that one I have another one so if I need it I'll put it in there so I have my paper have my um, shell here and I'm just going to go ahead and line it up in the middle and then I'm going to press in the middle and spread out. It's always while it's wet you can move it you can move it around and I'm, but I'm just making sure that it's even and I have enough which I do to cover and then I'm tucking these corners and on these corners, that's why I put those slits in there so I can kind of fold them over each other. And then I'll come back and tack them down with some glue, with some extra glue. So I just kind of tuck them and fold them. That's why I put the slits in there so that they will fold over each other to fit in the corners perfectly. So that when I put the, put the, um, put the frame on it, It'll lay flush inside the frame with no problem in the corners. And so I'm just going along it, along the edges and making sure everything is tacked down good. And then we're going to let this dry. And that is even while it's wet. You can still kind of position it, move it around a little bit. I got my other tube of fix all here. And what I'm going to do with the fix-all is I'm going to just hit these corners with a little bit. To make sure that they stay tacked down and that they don't come up. And then I'm just going to rub them. I don't mind getting my fingers a little dirty because I can come back and... And I'm going to take what's left on my brush and just kind of swoop that around to seal, seal those edges down. They're going to be clamped inside and glued down inside, but you just want to make sure that it stay down. I might gift this to somebody. I think I'm thinking about gifting this to someone, although I do need a little cute little Chanel purse, little purse for my little dress I'm not quite sure if I want to keep it or gift it but I figured we can make it together and I'll show y'all how to kind of make you one if you wanted to make one for yourself okay let me get my hands clean cleaned off I'm already on my last step okay we gotta get some more wipes gotta give me a little dollar tree run tomorrow I need some more wipes. I thought I had a pack up here, but I guess I don't. I'm trying to get these open. It's very cool here, but I can't. See my pellets. Hold on, let me see. Okay, there we go. I'm like, what? This should not take all that time. We got it. Okay, we're here. I'm going to wipe my fingers off just so that I can show y'all how it looks.
and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in front of the fan for a couple hours and let it dry and then we are gonna come back and finish this bad girl up because she gonna be pretty she already looking gorgeous okay I'm just cleaning off okay I'm gonna make sure I double clean the purse anyway but that's gonna be the outside so when you open it up it'll have like a glitter inside like so and we're gonna let this sit over here and dry and we'll come back y'all hit that like hit that subscribe button i hope it dry well this is my first time using this so i'm gonna make sure i keep my eye on it and i'm just spreading i know that's some some glue a kind of a big thing of glue i'm just pressing it down so it don't bulge out and doing the same here making sure i'm getting everything you know just kind of nice and smooth because this is a foam pay foam like a foam glitter foam paper or foam sheet it's not really a paper it's like a foam sheet and this is all i had so we gonna put it in here and make her pretty it's still soft nothing is rubbing off like i'm not getting any glitter on my hands as you can see so it should do all right it should do you know fairly well for when you use it it ain't like you're gonna carry it every day this is like when you dress up with your little black dress and some um you know some heels and just kind of want to look expensive you know just a little poppers you know here we go all right stay tuned hit that subscribe button i'm coming back okay guys we are back with our chanel beauty y'all she came out gorgeous so that is the inside we're gonna get ready to clean her up and decorate her put her stones on and then that will be finished put our um put a a purse handle on her and what i'm cleaning her with first is alcohol and just so I'll see what all I really need to focus on to get her absolutely 100% clean, clean. Because the alcohol just kind of clean the surface. It don't get off like any of the, um, the glue. But it do get off um, some of the other debris and sticky stuff that may have... Um, Accumulated. I cut my finger. I felt like I did. Accumulated on there. We want to make sure it's good and shiny. So, like right here in this corner, it's a little bit of glue. So I'm gonna take my glue remover. Little, it's like a little rubber situation, and rub it, and it just remove all the glue, just like that, and it's gone. So anywhere that I may see any little specks of glue on here, I'll just rub this over it and it removes it. And then just wipe it smooth. And it's good as new. I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. It's just called a glue remover. And, um, yeah, I seen somebody use it in a video before, and I was like, I got one of them. Never knew that it worked like that. And so I've been using it ever since. Anywhere where you have any dull or it look like it could, ooh, ooh, look like it could be glue related. Here. I'm just wiping it clean. I want her to do her thing, do her thing. 
when it comes time for me to display her. Okay, almost. It's like right here in this corner. Silver don't have any glue on it for right now. We're gonna get ready to decorate it so we'll have to clean this part up again. But we still want to make sure that it's nice and clean from the first one. So I'm gonna do this, clean this purse up, and then we'll come right back and decorate it. Hit set tight. Okay, we got her all cleaned and ready to be decorated. All right, I did not want, I put a pearl handle on this, guys, and it was so cute. But, again, I don't want this to be a dressy purse. I want it to be um, where you can wear it with some jeans, but still be classy and cute. So, we're going to put this chain on her. But before we do that, we're going to use silver studs and decorate her okay so that's what we about to do now and these are quite sticky so i think all i have to do is kind of like sit them on there and peel off the excess because they are like super like super glue sticky but they have these little in-between uh, plastic pieces in between them. And I'm just going to cut them off. And place the stone where I want it to be. So it don't look like they are connected. I just want to make sure they don't go anywhere. And I'm just going to go around the C, the C's. To start. Trying to make sure I position them adequately apart from each other and in the right spot. So everything looks cohesive. liking that so far so these are like little silver stud like they're not stones like a silver stud so it gives you that rock star feel
Okay, we're gonna do the next C. Get them off. And it's just patience and timing. I still got tons of, I'm going to be up for a while, so, but I really wanted to get this video, video done, so, get this out the way, this would be mental anguish done. And I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you that watch, subscribe, comment, like. Okay, so here is the problem that I knew we was going to have as to why I did not want to glue them down. Okay, so that one I can move there. And then, let me see, move them a little bit closer. And then... So that this will line. And it's like there. I'm trying to move them closer. So that I'll have a, so that these, this, where the C crosses. It'll be done right. If that makes sense where it will fit for both of them okay i think i think that's it but we still gotta move them and then what i think i'm gonna do is come back and glue and glue them Okay, cause see this one gotta move a little closer. That one has to move just a little bit closer, just so we can get this right. And again, that's why I did not glue them, cause I want to make sure I had them positioned correctly first, so I know what needs to happen. In this one. I can't get it up. Okay, just need to move down. Because I don't have any nails. And I think if I had nails, it would probably be even harder. So, but we going to get it. We, we going to get it together. Okay, I think that's it. And then we'll move these closer. And we might have to put... Put that right there in the middle so it'll right where they cross. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do on the next side is just start in the cross part and then work my way out. I'm going to try it that way on the next side and see if that works. Like this one. I just need you to come up. Okay. And then we'll put one more. there position it okay I think that's it okay yeah then we can finish right where we left off okay working our way around
There we go. Hey, it's coming. And we got one more to go on this side. Oh, that is cute. I think that is cute. Okay. Just a little bling it out. Double C. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for the back. But, like I said, I'm, I think I'm going to glue these on. Since now we know, and then I'll go back and glue the back. So... How do I want to do this? Maybe since they're close together, I'm going to try to do a thin bead of our UV. Let me get it going first. Just a little small thin. Little thin. Line and I'm going to take just to kind of get it on the round and not be so so thick. You just don't want the stones to come off. We don't want to miss. So, I'm going to clean this. Get some of this out. Just to keep it neat. Let's get going. So this time, since we know what we need to do, I'm going to start in the middle. Right where they need to be. got these little tabs that I'm cutting off I got them sticking <laughs> everywhere they like everywhere so and then the stones are sticky too I like it to be clean, so I'm trying to make sure I keep my 
not have too much resin stuck. So, two different methods. <laughs> but this one positions pretty good. So, by putting the stones directly where they cross was a good idea. Really, that's what I didn't want to happen. I hate when my stones flip over. Okay, now we need some more. Okay, so we got the centers. We got the centers down. All right, now we just got to go along the sides. And so I, you can start right from there. Because they already positioned, which that works. And I'm pulling it right off the backing, so that's even better. Because now the stones aren't sticking to me. I can just drop them. That's why I just didn't want to use that because I knew that it was going to be one. 
that would that would do that. Okay, let's go around the other side. And we're going to be done carefully placing them down. Cure it. Go along our sides. Yeah, this is looking real pretty. I'd be like so amazed by how wonderful everything comes out. You have an idea. I, I, I still have some ideas that I'm going to be working on and sharing with you all. I'm just waiting for all my supplies to get in. You guys keep creating, posting your work. I'm just positioning these before I cure it, making sure everything is nice and even, and it is. And I'm about to cure it with my lamp. this goes All right, let's cure one more time. I had to go find some more um, studs and silver because we didn't have any more left, so I did find a pack. I hope I have another pack because I know this is not going to be enough. and check it and there you have it that's that side so see she can you can still wear the jeans and it's still gonna be cute I felt something sticky somewhere right here or is that on my hand oh it's on my hand one of them little tabs. I told you they was everywhere that I cut off. Okay, so the next thing I'm about to do is decorate. I want to decorate along my edges. Let 
with my stones. And so what I want to do, I, I don't know if I want to leave them on. Yeah, I'm going to leave them on the sticker. But what I'm going to do is instead of putting the glue or the resin on, and I think I want to do glue. I'm going to put the glue on the, um, or not, resin or glue, resin glue. I think we're going to do, but these are sticky enough so they, it just might work without the glue. So we're going to, for, 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 for this purpose, we're going to just stick them on there. So again, I've already wiped them with alcohol. And I'm just going to go in and put my little stickers or embellishment studs along the edge of the purse. Making sure I line everything up nice and smooth because it's a real fine little thin line in between that. And then I'm going to just press everything down. pretty straight and then we're gonna come put another strip and finish it off and now uh, this one you probably won't need you only need like a strip and a half but you just want to make sure everything is lined up nice and even super cute now I'm coming on this other side and I'm making sure everything is lined up over here. And I'm going to lay these down. Just like I did on that side. This is cute. I'm loving these studs. Perfect, perfect, perfect choice. Perfect choice. see that cute real cute and I think one line of studs will be okay let me see how, how we gonna open her she opens like that so I could do two two lines of studs that might be a, a, a bit much how would that look um don't even have enough to do two lines so we'll leave it with one I just want to make sure everything is sticking down, which I probably, again, will go in and glue everything back down. But I don't have any fix-all, so we just have to work with it like this for now so I can get some fix-all. But I'm going to go in with some fix-all and glue everything down. And then maybe put some small, smaller silver stones in between them i don't know but there she goes let me wipe this side down my alcohol because i want her to be shiny when i uh present her alcohol where you go okay here we go and uh yeah it's looking really 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 good better than i thought Okay, that's why this side, uh oh, is, is this the resin side? Is it? Yeah, it is. So that was one. 
that wasn't stuck. Okay. Let me make sure everything is stuck over here. Oh, oh, oh. So that's why we make sure. So that was just need just a small smidge of a dot. And we're going to try to put this bad baby back in there. If we can pick it up. I'm about to say, come on, up off of there. And just set it right there. Okay. I don't know about this. I'm going to have to get some different type of UV because I don't really like this UV glue. Uh, it just don't seem to cure solid like or not solid, but it takes a minute. Like, yeah, and I don't like that. Like this right here. So I'm glad it happened to me and not the person that I'm giving it to. So we're gonna make sure everything is cured in here. This is so cute. I really, really, really like it. Like, I kinda wanna keep it for myself. <laughs> One more time for the one time. I can't believe I'm out of like fix all. I don't want to use this new 6000. I kind of need a new one. I wish they made the E6000 with the, the big E6000 with the nozzle of the medium one 6000. You know, the little pointy nozzle so that you can be more precise with your application that would be nice people who make e6000 make put a different nozzle on your big big one that would be so helpful to us crafters if anybody in that world is listening are we stuck now are we okay i just want to make sure These are all the same color, just about. I have TikTok um, reels playing in my head. The, the A Bay Bay is like playing in my head. I, it's ridiculous. I love TikTok. Y'all can follow me on TikTok too at Paler May Art. I'm there. I have to probably change it on my web browser because I had to change my name. I wanted to be more of my business name on there. So I changed my TikTok username to um, you know, Paler May Art. So I have to probably change it on my banner. That would be nice. I think if I did that, that would be kind of helpful. I just thought about that. Didn't think about it when I changed it. And so right now, y'all, I'm just cleaning her up. Getting her ready for her debut. You guys go ahead and hit subscribe, hit share, hit like. Right? Because you're not going to see this nowhere. This, this right here. I got another one coming for you, too. You're going to love it. Okay, so final thing. I got my little um, things up. Little purse handles. So we always want to include a nice little purse chain. Just in case you want a crossbody. Or some of them. I'm getting into the, short, the shorter purse chain. So just in case you want to, um, you know, just put it on your hip. But y'all, y'all see that? She is everything. Yes, she is. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like notification bell, guys. And go ahead and hit your girl. Subscribe to your girl's channel. I love you. I thank you. And um, I'll show you the finish at the end.